I want to read some verses from John chapter 2, John chapter 2, and the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come, meaning the hour of his crucifixion. His mother saith un unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there was set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast, and they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, or didn't know where it came from, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of, of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed on him. See, these miracles were done to point out the fact that this is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And the Jews, as that, a nation of Jews, they should have understood, they should have known from the Old Testament, which is all they had at this time, they should have known from reading the Old Testament scriptures that this is the Christ, the Son of the living God, the one that would come down from heaven and die upon the cross for your sin and for mine. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. He shed his precious blood upon the cross. You know, remember the soldiers came and when they saw that he was dead already, they break not his legs. Because scripture had said in the Old Testament, a bone of him shall not be broken. So they didn't break any of his bones, but it might be fulfilled according to the scriptures. But one of the soldiers with a spear came and pierced his side, and forthwith there came out blood and water. Now that blood still has the power to wash your sins and mine away. And that's what God wants to do for you this afternoon, that your sins would be totally washed away. I wonder what will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ. You see, it all hinges. Where you'll be in eternity, it all hinges on what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe on him, you'll have everlasting life. Your sins will be forgiven, and you'll be able to live in heaven for all eternity. But if you die without Christ, you'll go down to hell and be in the judgment of God. I'm here to warn you concerning judgment to come. You see, there is judgment ahead for those who die without Jesus Christ as their saviour. I wonder what will you do with the Lord Jesus Christ? If you receive him as your saviour, you'll be saved. But if you reject him, you'll remain in a lost condition and you'll go down to hell into the judgment of God. Not only that, but then be cast into the lake of fire for all eternity where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. It's not worth it. God has provided the way of escape through our Lord Jesus Christ there's no need to go down the hill into the judgment of God. Your soul can be saved only through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So that you and I could come back in the right relationship with our God. You see, there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man. Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom to fall to be testified in due time. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins.